Be inspired. Be innovative. Be creative. Be a nation's builder. Watch Zoe TV and the Wood Magician now. Yeah, we've made it here, you know. It's part of us. The negotiation starts again, you know. We are coming to get some concrete form. I'm going to drop into the hole to use as the toilet. Yeah. Mama, how are you doing here? Good. You good? Yeah. Thank you very much. Put this onto the. So you look at this. <laughs> So we are trying to roll this um, cylindrical concrete form into this car over here. And um, yeah, I want to see their technology, man. But I'm not too sure if this car can carry it, if it's that heavy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Driver, your car, bro. Man, you're going to destroy the car. Okay. All right. Yeah, we made it. It's twelve fourteen in the afternoon. Um, and it's, it's it's rainy and really cold. Like I tell you, man, I don't know how to even describe it. It's it's, it's really cold. It's not um comfortable weather at all to just be walking in it but this is africa it feels like winter here in uganda easy 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 man yeah here, here we come trucks and stuff like that coming to get some aggregate hey yeah everything is happening man they're opening the doors and to make sure we buy the right thing. Well, looks like we have some sort of breakdown on the road. Um, I think the car has just been too overloaded, which I cannot talk about. And um, they were like, it will make it, it will make it. I mean, look at the tires, you know, they're all like really, really down. It's a, it's a small little car. And um, I think it's just overheated. I don't know. Um, we have like chunk of stuff in this truck over here. We need to get it to the location. We'll see how we go, you know. Still in Africa. Anyway, we made it back with the team, man. Sort of. Whoa, easy, 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 easy. Man, the car is struggling, bro. <laughs> struggling. Okay, so you guys, you do the direction to where he wants him to go. How does he get there? I'm calculating, I'm calculating of where to put my things. Uh huh, watch out. How does he get there? That's the problem. The concrete form is too heavy. I mean, it's been made very well, but the whole thing is it's just too heavy. So it took us some time for us to get it down. There's a lot going on at the same time. Um, the mason guy is trying to cast his concrete so we can um, create a platform where we're going to build the wooden toilet. So that's what he's doing. Yeah, he's my man. My man, how, how is he going? Cool, cool. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Ronnie. Eh? Ronnie. Ronnie. Yeah. No, I want your Ugandan name. Balondemu Ronald. B Balonde? Balondemo. Uh -huh. Ronald. So what is the meaning of bal Balandemo? Balondemo. It's like you could say choose to choose something choosy. Something choosy? Yeah. So you are very choosy man. I'm a choosy one. Eh? Hey, I'm oh you are a chosen one. I'm a chosen. Somebody who is chosen. That is 
Choose anyone. Oh, okay. It's in need a name, Balon de Moronari. All right. I love you, Ghana. Yeah, man. This is Uganda. Thank you. Happy to see you. So, my man, what's, what's your name? Charles. Eh? Charles. 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 No, I want, to, I want to know your Ugandan name. Yeah, it feels like we are in different part of the town. Now. Where are we now? Where are we now? Bus Park. Eh? Bus Park. Bus Park? Yeah. What happens over here? Buloko. Eh? Buloko Bus Park. Okay, what do they sell here? Timber. Timber? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're going to make a U turn and um, we're sort of going in toward the Ghanaians who say Timber Market. Um, this is like the sawmill. Um, where they have all sort of different types of wood. Wanji? Yeah, so. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Anyway. Same negotiations again. We are here. What? You know, we've just arrived. You know. What was the name of the place again? What? How? Yeah. How is that? How is that? How is Hello, sir. Yes. How are you doing? I see that you guys have different types of timber over here. Tell me the names of the timber. <laughs> the names of the timber. Yeah, because I see, I see some wood here. I've never seen. I'm from Ghana. I'm from West Africa. Wait. Yes, the things you have here, I haven't seen some before. So you know this sawdust is going to have a good use. We are going to use it for something else. Which is part of the, the toilet making. You know what, well, ever since I've been here, a lot of people are saying, I don't eat, I don't eat, I don't eat. You can never request for small food in Uganda because there's nothing small. This is the food basket of Africa. Yeah. I tell you, man, the guys, they have food. Yeah. I, I mean, how am I going to finish this? I'm supposed to work. If I finish this, and should I go to sleep or what do I do? I don't know, man, but boom, what, lifestyle creation. Still in Uganda, nightlife happening, everything cool, you know. Yeah, it's just different a bit, it's different, but you know, going through. This is what they are trying to construct. Another day, another morning. Still in Barara, and we are putting our piece together. So we're forming the frames. Which is going to be the structure for the toilet. And I think by the close of the day, we should have something meaningful happening. Boom, Ghana. Boom, Uganda. I love you guys all. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm trying to find a fiber, you know, um, coconut fiber to create this biodigester toilet here. Yeah, it's just a simple thing. But um, it's been a challenge because you know what? Uganda is a landlocked country and therefore they don't have access to coconut. And I've been just trying to research onto my next level. I find a palm tree over here, but this palm tree too is different. But I sort of like... I'm thinking that this fiber could do the job. So um, this is um, a method to something that 
I'm trying to get into to see what can happen. Yeah, but I think I found it. Yeah, man. Yeah, so um, this is what we're gonna be using as part of our biodigester toilet. We have some charcoal there, we have some aggregate over there, and then we have some fiber. Window has been done, and we're gonna be putting it in. Framing our door here as well. So we are on point, you know. Everything is coming together well. It's just that we are running behind time in terms of supplies. And we are back at it again. Yeah. Venturing into the city to get more supply for work. So we are on the motorbike we call Border Border. It's taking us about maybe like what? 2,000. You got them shillings, yeah? Okay, cool. It's three of us on the motorbike. <laughs> anyway, yes, I find myself in a hardware shop in Uganda. And it's the same like Ghana, you know, they have everything here, but you know, it's just hard to get what you want sometimes, you know. Um, even the terminologies we use for certain things are different, but yeah, so I have I have a lot of stuff behind me, you can tell, and a negotiation going on behind me as well. But yeah, this is it over here. Yeah, I have a new driver today. Yeah, um, he's laughing, you know why he's laughing? You see all the motorbikes going up and down? It's been a big accident right now, you know? Yeah, I, I sort of, I'm not really comfortable riding on a motorbike. Can you turn the radio down? Can you turn it down? What's your name? Oh, Edmond. Eh? Edmond. Edmond? Yeah. Edmond what? What's your Ugandan name? Uh, Nimosiga. Nimosiga? Yeah. And what's the meaning of Nimosiga? Nimosiga means being trustworthy. Being trustworthy? Yeah. Okay. So, all I do, um, I'm trusted by the people. Okay. Yeah. What is the name of the, the part of the town we are? This, this is in Barara. No, which area we are now? With this area that we came to buy the thing? The, the area is the western part of Uganda. No, where we buy the things now? Where you park your truck? Is this it down? Is it downtown? This is the downtown. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. And this is the roundabout here. Yeah, that is the roundabout. Uh -huh. the, the middle, the, 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 the middle part of the city. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I am in the middle of the town, like a downtown, and you see a cow in the middle of the roundabout. That is just a clear, you know, idea of the nationalistic way of thinking. That sense of pride where they take charge and they try to tell you a story that, you know, that, you know, a cattle over there has a symbol. And what is a symbol? It's uh, this particular place in Marara. It's like the food basket. It's everything over here. But cattle rearing, you know, it's like it's big. I mean, they tell me that the number of cattle over here are four times more than the number of the people. So these are the buses. What? They are going to the, the capital city of Uganda. Okay, they're going to where? Kampala? Yeah, Kampala. Ah. Yeah, right now. Okay. What happened to your wiper, man? Your screen? It's not clear. It's not clear. Can I clear it? Yeah, clear. Oh. So this is my residence, Wagga Wagga Resort. Yeah.
basically this is our toilet seat we are trying to put together we don't want the concrete to show so um we've created a seat with the pallet wood and we're going to cut a circular hole at the top and it will be comfortable as any other toilet in the world Well, we're still putting in our frames. Yeah. All right. So we get in there. 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 Oh. Uganda, here we come. <laughs> yeah, my man are working hard. You know, most of the wood we are using are eucalyptus, and they are actually not that straight for some reason. So we have to use clamps to make sure that we can get all our corners tight. 